in a way, the the key to it is in the title. I mean, the, the documentary that it was inspired by, which was called The Wrestlers Fighting With My Family, the Channel 4 documentary, which is, it, it's online, it's worth seeing. Um, it's it's about, there's a, there's a pun in the title, fighting with my family and fighting with my family. And what the film, I think, manages to do is to balance those two elements. So on the one hand, you have the story of this central character who comes to be called Paige, you know, Sarai Brittany then becomes Paige, played by Florence Pugh. Now, I think Florence Pugh is a genius. I think she is such a great actor. I think she's, she was brilliant in The Falling. She was great in Lady Macbeth. And in fact, when she did Lady Macbeth, um, I spoke to her after I'd seen the film. I was really impressed by it. And I said, what are you doing now? She said, I'm doing a wrestling movie with The Rock. And I, and I went, really? That's like the last thing you would ever <laughs> yeah, have imagined. exactly. And, I, and I, I, she said, no, 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 that's what I'm... And I, you know, I was very surprised. I was very much looking forward to seeing the film. And I think she's great because... What she manages to do is to give that, that central character real range. On the one hand, there is a physical performance in there, which is to do with, you know, the, the fighting and the wrestling, which obviously does a certain amount of stunt doubling. But the most important thing is that you believe, on the one hand, that she's the kind of character who will come out of the ring, come out of her corner fighting. But on the other hand, that she's vulnerable enough that when you take her from the area in which she has, she's with her family, with her brother, with her father, with her mother, and put her somewhere else that she is vulnerable and yet she's got this kind of, you know, this this persona that she has to grow into, that she has to learn to project. As Stephen Merchant was saying there, the, the fight that you have to win isn't to do with fighting your opponent, it's to do with winning over the crowd. Um, so I thought she was great. I thought she did she did a really, really good job of making us believe in and care about that character. I think Nick Frost has his most charming role since uh, since Hot Fuzz. I think it's that you know the great the, the burly dad who the Ray Winston the character. Ray Winston character yeah who served time for mainly violence but is also you know is and there's a moment in the documentary when when Paige goes off to America and he and he's he's and he suddenly starts tearing up and it is that thing you know a, a big man too big a man to cry and I think that the the film really does keep that balance well the stuff that when she goes off to the training camp and then Vince Vaughn is doing the you know, the officer and a gentleman style thing about, you know, honk the horn of failure, honk the horn of failure, no, which is very, very much like Zach Mayo in An Officer and a Gentleman, which I know is a character that you oh, carried with you much loved. for many years. So I, all that worked. And, but the thing that I thought was, was most impressive about it is that on the one hand, it, you know, it is, a, it, it's a, it, it is a dramatic comedy. It is a drama which has got comedy in it. And I did laugh a lot. I mean, there's a lot of moments in it that made me laugh out loud. I mean, Nick Frost is a great physical comedian. He's one of those people who can deliver a line by just shrugging his shoulders or moving his neck in front of him. I think this, this is, as I said, one of his best roles for, for ages. But it does also work as a drama. And one of the ways it does that is that I think that what Stephen Merchant has done as a writer, I mean, as a director, as a, primarily as a writer, is to make the story centre around that it's fixed but not fake. So when we get to the final stages of it, you're going into something, you understand the parameters of it, and he actually manages through a great sleight of hand to concoct a finale that that looks like it's being one thing whilst you accept that it's actually something else what you understand by that point is that it's all to do with performance it's all to do with front and it has these kind of these sweeter more bitter moments in which her brother is attempting to deal with his own disappointment about the fact that he hasn't been selected and Vince Vaughn's character Hutch the, the trainer come talent scout is you know very biting it's not going to happen it's not going to happen it's not going to happen but he comes to realize that there is you, you know that he he's he's torn and he's conflicted and so when she's away in america that's a you know that that's a big conflict and and you're watching this which is you know you're watching this lively wrestling drama with the rock and with Florence Pugh, and you realize actually these scenes are quite comp there is complicated stuff going on in this and that's what i mean when i say it comes back to the pun of the title which of course was the the subtitle thank you very much of the documentary Why itself you say thank because you i've much. just been jamie has just brought me um a, an, an, an infusion drink to help my throat which because as we know i had laryngitis and i lost my voice, you didn't say thank you. I just nod. You nod, it's, okay. Fine. It's a radio discipline. Is it? Yeah, there's no point in talking to someone who the audience don't know who you're talking I to. I think the audience know by now. Anyway, the, within the context of that, it manages to do a lot of things that, that, that are kind of, that are complicated in a sort of Barton Fink kind of way. And anyway, so I, I really enjoyed it. It was lovely to hear those emails about people having that same kind of response to it that it you come out of it feeling that it's an you know it's an empowering story and it's a rocky like story but it does absolutely feel like for all the 
the fairy dust that it sprinkles on the story for all the, the, the liberties and inventions that it takes. It does feel like at its heart there is something, you know, that's tough and truthful about it. And it is really funny and and in places very, very moving. 